So this question says that x cubed, which I'll just write it, x cubed times x squared minus 5 is equal to negative 4x. If x is greater than 0, which just means if x is positive, what is one possible solution to the equation above? Well, what I like to think is that this is going to be a simplified question. And this is very useful for a question like this, just the thought that hey, you know, simplified questions tend to be one to three lines long. This is a short question. There are no answer choices here because we're no longer in the, in the multiple choice section of this test. But if I can focus on how do I simplify this, I might just get to what I'm looking for. So let's simplify this. How would you simplify this? Well, I'd start off by distributing this x cubed across a parenthesis. So I'd have x cubed times x squared, which is x to the fifth minus x cubed times x, I'm sorry, x cubed times 5, which is m minus 5x cubed, again, equals negative 4x. I then add 4x to both sides, just because I want all my x terms together. So I'd have x to the fifth power, minus 5x to the third power, plus 4x is equal to 0. I can then pull out an x because that's my GCF in this case. So I can say, I can factor this and say, well, x parentheses, x to the fourth power minus 5x to the second power plus 4 equals 0. And then the question is, can I, can I factor this any further? So it looks like I may be able to. It's a trinomial, which means I should try this method here. It's a weird trinomial because I have an x to the fourth power, but all that means really is that my first terms here need to be x squared, right? This x goes along for the ride. And then the factors or the, you know, the numbers, the factors of four that add up to five, which is how we think about this, which two numbers multiply to equal positive four, but add up to give you a negative five. Well, that's just a minus one and a minus four, right? Um, negative one times negative four is positive four. So we, that's good. And then negative one plus negative four is negative five. So that's good. So it does fit kind of how we've learned how to factor trinomials. But then we can, we can factor even further, right? Because this is the difference of two squares. So this question has a lot going on with it. So I still have this x from the front, but then x squared minus 1 can be factored into x minus 1, x plus 1. And x squared minus 4 is also the difference of two squares, and it can be factored into x minus 2 and x plus 2. Right? So all this is equal to 0. So once you've fully factored a polynomial and you have it equal to zero, we can start solving. So um, realistically, I don't want, I don't need to do all of this because it's not school and I don't have to show all my work. But um, x would equal zero, x would equal one, negative one, positive two, and negative two. It's just always the opposite sign of whatever's inside these binomials. The question just wants one possible solution. So really, any of these will work. Um, except for obviously negative 1 and negative 2 because the question tells us that x is greater than 0. So if you put in 1, you would work. Um, it would work. You put in 2, it would work. Actually, also 0 can't work because 0 is not greater than 0. So if you say that x equals 1, you're going to get it correct. If you say x equals 2, you'd also get it correct. But as you can see, this question has quite a bit of of uh, factoring going on. And again, I think you're put on the right set of tracks if you think about this through a, just how do I simplify it, right? Like, I don't know where this is leading when I distribute this x cubed, but as I keep going and keep going, then it begins to get clearer and clearer on how to solve it.